So we have we have new weird things that didn't exist before. We have um, we have binary operations on the music. No PS twenty eight things. Yes, holy wood, Mystic Batman. So let's go to on Shadow and Future Action B Boy and also Crack. And hey, what's up, Eddie Ace Music? Let's just start it up and I'll show some demonstrations here. That sounds weird, but maybe not. What was it? M flip? No? I don't even remember my own uh, commands anymore. I'll have to find them. Anyway, we now have the M. What's up, Sujan? Yeah, um, we have M and M or and M X or. So each one of them can provide a binary operation on the melody. So let's try this one. just does it on the notes. The octaves are still left intact. So stuff like that will happen, but it just sounds weird. <laughs> Don't have to beat Mario. It's so broken. Yeah. You also got X or we can use any value from like 0 to 255. Try XORing 3. That basically just sounds like the, well, almost sounds like the regular inverted music. Oh, was it Imp Lip? In the source code and see what it uh, see what it is again. <laughs> the wild and crazy. Let's see M or uh, or It goes in between sounding normal and not sounding normal. I was thinking of setting it up so that- oh, right. I'm used to the way that works in Mario 35, where you run off of the pipe and then jump when you hit the ground. But that doesn't work in this game. Everything else should still work though, right? H. Flip. Oh, it's Flip H, isn't it? Uh, what? Oh, yeah, it did it. <laughs> okay. Let's play original Mario Super Luigi Bros style. Hello, backwards Lagatu. Yep, and we still have the same old command in where we do exclamation point game. And then include the name of any oh, any original NES game, and it immediately loads it. Cursed, you say. <laughs> Cursed. Maybe it was flip M instead of M flip, right? Flip M. And then we also want to go to a binary operation that has no effect. No? Hmm. Well, I changed the command for that to something else, and I don't remember what it was anymore, so... Oh, ah. <laughs> Fell right off both of those. But yeah, the new OBS. The shiny new OBS that has a new OBS WebSocket with a completely new <laughs> protocol. Oh! 
19 months. No way. Anyways, hey everyone. And why did the TTS not read that out loud? That's weird. But hey, Natsuki, what's going on? I've been seeing your streams going down while I'm at work, so I'd open them up and have them running at least, even though it's very busy. The old work ski doodle. But yeah, it's nice to see that the Wi Fi is behaving itself again. But good grief though, 19. 19 months. That's an insane number. MX4. Let's see, what's a good weird number? 1 and 4, 5. Actually, let's try 5. MX4 with 5. Pretty good and scrambled, isn't it? Oh, mushroom, please. Oh. Stream's probably laggy. Eight. Oh. Eight. The, the Patreon warp. Huh. Oh, you know, we can try to we can try to go to backwards minus world. Try that a few times. So I'd say the video quality has looked alright on on the fighting game streams that you've been doing. I have no way to tell how far behind the stream is running. It's kind of like the old time.is trick is kind of the only way to really tell how far behind a stream is. <laughs> Revo Emac, <laughs> yeah. Oh, two minutes? Woof. Hmm. I seem to remember there being a setting that helps contribute to it going bad, but I don't remember which one it was. Oops. Oh no. Might be able to find it. I think it's actually under, like, advanced. Oh, excuse me. So settings, advanced, uh, scroll down here. It's not this one. Oh, well, I don't see the, oh, there it is. Huh. Well, if the stream delay box is unchecked, it doesn't look like it even allows you to turn the preserve cutoff point increase delay when reconnecting option. So as long as it's off, I don't really know how it can end up getting that far behind. Then again, I've noticed with mine, even with the anti-potato mode code, it kind of gradually creeps up to being 10 seconds behind. And then once it hits 10 seconds, it doesn't catch up, even if I leave it. Oh, oh, streaming off of Xbox? I see. Yeah, Xbox is a wild card. All bets are off. <laughs> yeah, who knows what the Xbox does. Probably where it would be beneficial to hook it up to the capture and run it through OBS, just like when streaming the Switch. So it's kind of nice and all that the consoles include their own options to stream direct from the <laughs> option to stream direct from the consoles, but Revo Mag again. Well, I wanted to do Minus World, but yeah. Can we just do game and just get a random game? I think you may do that, yeah. Yeah, and then you get your um, nice um, overlay and all the little stuff too. So it's really, really the best way, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see if this will give us a random game. Oh, what is this? Oh, Robocop? <laughs> okay. Oh, click on this. There we go. Futurist can play the game forwards, my backwards, yeah. Oh, five matches in, streams on round one. <laughs> What's going on, Mayor Adam? Yeah, this is this is the stream where we um, have all sorts of fun stuff. Let's see, what, pause? Can I pause, pause that? We have, we have all sorts of modifications we can do to it. 
So we have, um, we can do X or, 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 and operations on the music and it's all in real time. So if I just put it back to a no op, which would be music or with bits of zero, that'll restore the default music. I also had one where it just inverts the melody, but I can't remember what the command is for that. <laughs> Pokobor is the best game, yeah. Oh, I bet he can't swim. Yep, he can't swim either. <laughs> so he's just like, um... Uh, just like Mike Jones from Star Tropics in that regards. Ooh, yeah. See? Robot. Robot, that's... That's something I got up and running again, just before stream went line. Oh, five? Five Pokebore, yeah. I can't really tell the difference between any of them. This would be good for avoiding the DuckTales copyright problem? Yeah. Yeah, Moon especially. I actually uploaded the um, uh, negative harmony version of the moon theme, and it did not get automatically claimed on YouTube, so it kind of worked as a proof of concept. And I actually am not familiar with enough of this to tell whether or not it successfully reset back to the default music or not. Guess if we move on to a different game, I'll be able to know what's going on. <laughs> oh. Another classic R-rated movie converted into a child's game, so you probably love it, yeah. Yeah, it's so weird, you know, like Terminator, um, Robocop. Oh, is that, was that sprite version of him flipping the gun around and then putting it back in the holster? <laughs> like, I knew what that was supposed to be, but couldn't really recognize it as such. What was the plot of Robocop? I don't know, it was just a normal cop that went into gang hideout or whatever, got thoroughly blown to pieces, and they put him back together as a robot. And then other stuff. Oh! Traffic lights? Whoop. Oh, that's probably, uh... Oh, okay. Er, 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 got it. Like, suddenly, um... Crap, what's the name of that one? Okay. Innocent person, innocent person. Oh, clock, 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 clock. That's probably good. Oh, uh, what is the name of that one? It's not not Hogan's Alley, is it? I just saw Shadow playing it with the Zapper the other day. Yeah, Friday the 13th. Well, I mean, if you think about it, um, isn't Jason Voorhees, like, the perfect um, children's role model? Because he, he goes and he kills... Um, Kills all the camp counselors that have been going out and having sex and doing drugs and all that kind of stuff, so... <laughs> oh, what was it? They, uh, they even lampshaded that in one of the later Friday the 13th movies. The comment about somebody saying, You want to go do illegal drugs and have sex behind the whatever? I don't remember. It's been a while since I watched it. <laughs> Guess we could peek at that in a moment, too. What's this? Oh, more ammo. Nice. <laughs> he hates sex before marriage. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like that was the plot too, wasn't it? That's how Jason drowned in the first place, because the camp counselors were off having sex instead of doing their lifeguard duty. <laughs> Maybe Jason Voorhees is like one of the first um, global Twitch moderators, and that's why the site has the rules that it does. Friday the 13th story about purity all along, yep. And we got the guys with like the cliche gangster hats. We're also shooting Rambo for some reason. Okay, time's up. Looks a bit banged up there. Oh. Yeah, I can't read that backwards. <laughs> Jason Poor where he's really just McGruff the crime dog with a hockey mask. <laughs> See, I'll probably load that up for a bit, huh? Game. I should be able to just do Friday, right? Yeah, there it goes. Nice and simple. Oh, oh more robot. Okay. <laughs> lots, lots of beep boops, huh? Yadurf yeah, hit E A three hit. <laughs> oh, you failed to attain enough points in the couldn't finish though. Yeah, how's it going, Frank? Big time, yeah. See, so we have normal music. 
Let's do MX or uh, 255. Oh boy. Yeah, no, that one doesn't work. Let's just do one. So this should basically have the effect of just kind of flipping all of the odd and the even keys together. <laughs> oh, you like the <laughs> the Yadurf redeems on future Russia streams? Yeah. Uh, I can't even begin to try to reverse Rebecca Black in my head. Let's see. Use the torch to light the fireplaces. It's a nice easy font to read, at least. I've not played this one particularly much, just other than the times that we've had it loaded up on a wet nest day. Come on, out we go. Oh, lighter? Okay, that's good. It said something. Well, no, it said... Did it say lighter? It said torches. Uh oh we got the alarm going off. All the way over there, huh? Oh, you're hoping Big Scary Man doesn't come and try and kill me. I don't think that's actually how this works for most of this game. I think the Big Scary Man is trying to kill all of the... Yes, yeah, like where the Blinky House is, that's where we actually need to be. I don't understand how this map works well enough to actually get over there in time, though. Da, ba, da, da. Can we get back off here? Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is like way off in the middle of nowhere. And which way does this go? Okay, that's the wrong way. Yeah, it's weird because the map, you know, is in... in one dimension, and you're going along here in a different dimension. Okay, that's outer path. Now which way is which? Is this moving away? Come on, let's go. Okay, good. That's getting closer. Whoop. What's this? I want that. Where <laughs> are zombies in this game? Is it Jason enough of a zombie already? Yeah. I don't know. Jason kind of started out as a thing that was thoroughly alive, and then he... Oh, that one's dead. All right. <laughs> You really gotta know how to navigate that map in order to make it anywhere in time. Gotcha. <laughs> he died like multiple times in the movies? Yeah. Yeah, eventually he became like some sort of weird undead demon thing. And then which movie was the one where the... Uh, where he kept like possessing other people? Oh, hello. Oh, too late. So that knife spawn in. But it apparently registered an up input, and so I went out the. Okay. Part 9. Ah. Uh... Get too bad I never made it up to part 69. This is some nice tree backgrounds, though, isn't it? Oh, Jason Goes to Hell? Yeah, I remember. Got a big memory of that title. Still kind of disappointed that we never got, um. Freddy vs. Chucky. So, Freddy vs. Jason was okay and all. Oh. What's going on? Where's it going on? Okay, I need to get out of this forest. Oh, the film where he's barely even in the movie? Yeah. Oh, there's multiple layers of forest here, huh? Yeah, because see, I think that um, Freddy versus Chucky would have worked fantastically, because they both have such strong egos. It'd be like um, competing with each other to see who gets the best one-liner. Freddy vs. Chucky would have been great, yeah. It's the thing is that I absolutely do not want them to do that now, because I feel like that would only work if it was um, Robert England and Brad Dourif. They'd probably get new actors. Oh, it's fun. What game is it? This is the Friday the 13th game. So somewhere on the map we got Jason Voorhees running around trying to kill everybody. And what are we throwing indeed? I guess rocks. Up in the top left corner of the current screen, we've got the um, icon for the rock. Six, five, okay, so we do have a countdown here. Oh, knife? There we go, now we have a knife. I think some children just died. <laughs> Rocks totally killed Jason, yeah. So we've got this knife. It's a little bit, a little bit better than the rocks, because now I don't have to be crouched down in order to hit stuff. Oh, all out of children? I see. Ah, well, go to, the, go to Costco and buy another 12-pack of children. I'll get us started. 
<laughs> Whenever base camp wants to throw hard enough to kill you, also crouches their underhand. Yeah. That was funny though, it's like, kind of like doing this. You look at, yeah, it's like, boink, 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 doing that to toss the knife. Got it. <laughs> Jason killing kids now. Yeah. Yeah, this is, that actually means this is actually worse than the movie, because I don't think Jason ever killed any kids. He just killed the teen. Hey, oh, are, you, are you okay? It's the man. His classic purple, purple clothing that he's well known for. Uh -oh. Okay. Hey! What the heck? <laughs> How did he do that? <laughs> did he seriously run all the way around this path and come in from the backside? <laughs> oh yeah, Costco 12 pack, yeah. Alright. Um, go with, um, Arul. <laughs> Took a huge bite out of crime. Yep. Oh, Counselor Alert's going off again. Uh, so it's gonna be this way from here. Let me see. Okay, yes, and then take take the... Okay, keep going, then eventually we'll come to a fork in the road that'll... Is this it? Yes, this is it. Okay. Uh, right... It's kind of sad. That's the best way to tell whether or not you're going the right direction. Okay, good. This is it. Alright. Uoi Kanan. Yes. Oh, there he is. Oh. Only he's in a weird over the shoulder viewpoint now. Oh, and he's he's Yep, he's wrecking me. <laughs> okay then. Rapidly running out of um counselors here. It's like It's like yo guys, you need to you need to go somewhere else. The um Michael Jackson thriller music video shoot is in that direction. <laughs> No, <laughs> Jason Voorhees punch out, yeah. Oh, canonical. Jason usually runs across the planet and appears behind his victims, yeah. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Hmm. And then again, maybe what he should have done was run around the planet so fast that he goes back in time like Superman. <laughs> then he could have stopped the event that led to him drowning in the first place. Yeah, there we go. the kid killing to Freddy. Yeah, yeah, that's... You know, maybe that's the reason for their fight, wasn't it? I remember, um... Actually, yes, I totally remember now. You had, like, Freddy chewing out Jason saying, Hey, you stay away, that's my turf. Jason basically... Er, basically nothing personal kid. Teleports behind you, meme. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, this is way off in the middle of nowhere. Okay. There's no chance of me making it over there in time. We can't even run. We're just, like, power walking our way to... Well, let's see. We have to get into the inner path, then find a dock, and then take the boat. Uh, oh, children meter. Bad children meter. Where is the dock? Come on, dock. Jason used to have a zombie over me in this game or something? Yeah, there's no telling. There's this. Okay, good. That's. Look around this way. Oop. And these ones just leaping out of the water. Is this it? No, it's the middle one. Ooh, connect. This is gonna show up again. Ooh. Got a knife this time, but. Since we can't jump here, we can't even dodge that. Look, yeah. Oh, in the supply of LG and zombies. That's right. This was this was also LG and wasn't it? Yeah. He can literally unleash the undead, yet he chooses to just attack counselors. Yeah. That's the thing when you have a grudge. It's highly specific what you go after. Hmm. Uh, okay, got it. Um, oh, children. Oh, still in the same place. So I wonder, I wonder what the actual strategy is to this, because basically it just seems like you try to get to Jason and then he wrecks your stuff. Let me play normal music back on, I think. Or zero. 
Yeah, that alarm is still just as annoying, though, even restored to its original. <laughs> I guess it's kind of the point, really. You don't want to have, like, a nice, casual, um, friendly alarm. Oh, strategy is to file a lawsuit against him, yeah. I wonder if that would qualify for class action. You're like, if you were a loved one, experienced tragic loss of life, or whatever, however they do that. Hmm. Uh, okay, and there, what was that? That was counselor going out. Oh, beep, beep, yeah. Still, though, I think it's still better than, um... Zoda's Revenge is beep. That's like the worst, worst, worst version of any anything out of any game ever. Uh, Clubong, Clubong, Clubong. Well, he's back on back on solid ground. He can kill a couple more zombies for fun. Select do anything? Not on this screen. Pause. No. Okay. So I guess items you collect just kind of get used automatically when you get to the right place. Oh, you love when games beep non-stop. Yeah. I was like, both Star Tropics games, every time you press a button, it beeps again. So you can increase the beep to your heart's content. Hmm. Got this strawberry cola. We can't take it with us. Nothing's happening. Hmm. Oh, there it goes again. Ooh, that's, that's far away. Okay, on the outer loop, go this way. See, we're just trying to run to... Maybe that's the objective of the game. Just try to sacrifice everybody to Jason as quickly as possible. Da, 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 da. Ignore the zombies. They just slow us down. This is a camp. Where are the campers? Hmm. Maybe we're a bit too late. All these zombies... All these zombies are the former... TMNT on this had a pretty serious beep, but only lasts like two boops. Uh, yeah. Almost there, which I guess doesn't matter either way. Did he kill the campers? Could be. Every great once in a while, we'll see somebody inside of a house just long enough for him to say, Ooh, I connect. And then we die. Okay, next house is gonna be it. Or cabin, I guess. Ooh, I connect. How are you supposed to avoid that, though? It's like, he comes at you and he hits you. Uh, last one. So if this is the last one, does it mean that Jason will just come for us? Jason just uses his fists now, yeah. I don't remember if uh, Machete was like an actual brand name or something. Or it's just what that type of blade is called, period. be funny if there's a period of time where... Oh, and look, now we run faster. Not sure what I picked up that caused the speed increase. Let me see, so maybe you're supposed to just let the first counselor die so you can go around and collect enough items to actually survive the fight, maybe? Also have stuff hiding inside of these cabins too. Uh, I don't say anything though. Honestly, <laughs> use multiple weapons in the movie. Not sure why the machete became a signature weapon. Hmm. Who knows? Uh, I'm almost feeling the need to do a rewatch on those because it was quite a few years ago now when I started my project to start my project just to go through. So initially I just wanted to watch just the first movie out of every single like classic slasher franchise just to see where they got started. But then after the first few I was like, hey wait a minute, this is fun. <laughs> Enjoying watching these. So I went through and watched all the rest of them. But not the reboots. Two certain characters have different speeds and stats. This lady's got some pepper and stuff. I don't know, it feels like she got faster after I picked up an item. But I wasn't paying too much attention. This is definitely way faster. Help a lot with making it to the right place in time. Oh, I gotta get on the inner path. Uh, in the forest. I'm lost in the woods. Very lost in the woods. 
Or is this... Okay, this is the inner path. Oh. <laughs> People hearing watch party. Hmm. It'd be difficult to arrange a... Um, arrange a good time for... Oh, okay. Depew. Nassage. Stick. Something it doesn't stay on the screen long enough. <laughs> or quote AV, AVG in with, you're dead, your friends are dead. Something, your life sucks, deal with it. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense, though, that you would probably would have encountered somebody speedrunning the game that would explain how it works at some point. So that's for another random game, why not? Game. Monster in my pocket. Oh, we did this one before. Wouldn't hurt to look at it for a little bit longer, though. It's just so completely batshit insane. Flip H. Go back to normal so we can appreciate the weird story cutscene. One player. Oh, wait. Player one vampire, player one the monster. This might not be the game I'm thinking of, after all. Hmm. Vampire. We'll go with the monster. Now I'm not sure what the other game was that I was actually thinking of. Ha, 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 ha. I sent out my henchmen. While you were watching TV. They will defeat you. <laughs> defeat him. Come on, warlock. We will beat you. Yeah. Dot dot dot. Oh, now that I see the in-game sprite, I should have gone with Vampire, huh? Monsters in my house. Hmm. Okay. Look at that. Actually got... Like a parallax background. Kind of. At least it's scrolling at a different speed from the ground, so that's kind of neat. Not like the multi-layered parallax that you'd see on stronger consoles. Oh, hey, we got... What's-his-face from Castlevania, the Flea Man. Back when the game was about the game and not the dialogue, yeah, quite the punching power. This is why your parents didn't want their kids to watch the TV. Because of the henchmen! <laughs> yes, kids. Watch out, or... Watch out. So, let's see. This is the time period we both had Stranger Danger, and then you also had the dreaded TV henchmen. Hmm. We're kind of lucky our generation even survived. <laughs> hmm, okay. Really big sprites in this game, but it's leading to a lot of flicker. Because that's kind of the downside. Can I grab that? Yes, I can. Nice. Let's pause for a second. Oh, look at that. We're like killing like lion men now. Oh, that weird Pegasus type thing. And dare. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, obviously, if they punctuate it like that, you gotta. You gotta pronounce it the same way. Blind jump. I don't like this. Alright. Gonna do it. Oh, okay. We're going downstairs. That's what's going on here. <laughs> no coin trail, even. Oh, they're piling up. Gotcha. There's <laughs> some major flicker going on. Hmm. Oh, Monster Party. Not Monster in My Pocket. It's Monster Party. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, the other game was completely nonsensical. Blind jumps in games, cringe. Yeah, I know, right? And they wonder why we do it all the time in Mario Maker levels, huh? Oh, good. Extra heart in a bottle, needed that. Oh, and then immediately lose it again. Hey! Ah. Oh. Oh. Interesting death animation. These are monsters are in someone's pocket. No, but they could fit in your pocket if you wanted them to. This was a TV show as well, wasn't it? I don't think I ever saw it. Hmm? 
What are you? Oh. They're... Oh, okay. See, so jump and throw knives. Monster Mash. <laughs> snazzy music. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Death sound. <laughs> All right. And good night, people. I see you uh, later. Big trouble in the kitchen. Was it trying for Big Trouble in Little China kind of title there? That didn't really work out too well. take that key? Is it just for decoration? <laughs> it's a bit big for me anyway. Actually, I think that key is a bit oversized anyway. We get, okay. Standard semi-solid platform logic. Hold down and press jump to fall back down. Gotcha. See, now we have all like the cavemen ogres. Where are we going here? Hmm. Um. We have like a Mario 2 style super jump or something? No? I just kill the dude? Um. See, I obviously don't have the manual to this. I don't know if there's a way to. Oh, there's a double jump. Okay. Right? It was doing it a second ago, now it's not. Oh well. What? Wait, what is that? Hold on, what? Oh. Okay, so it's just holding a block of sugar and throwing it. There we go. Get a picture of it with, um... Out the cube, so now we can sort of see what's going on. So it's just like a little sugar goblin. Oh, this is quite a nice block of cheese, though. Hmm. It's like, doesn't everybody leave a big old plate of cheese out on their table <laughs> right in between the two apples? Oops. Okay, I'm just spontaneously changing direction. Can we turn on the water? No. So come on, Chip and Dale 2. I'm pretty sure he could turn on the water by jumping on the things. Oop. Little tiny dragons dropping eggs. Gotcha. Hmm. Hammer bros, but they throw axes instead. Gotcha. Whoop, whoop, okay. on top of the stack of dishes. <laughs> this is kind of goofy. See, my mind tells me you ought to be falling into the cup. I guess you're actually standing on the rim of it. <laughs> Leave all the food out and wonder why they're infested with the sugar goblins. Yeah. Oops. Kind of like, kind of like this version of the underpants gnomes, huh? Like phase one, steal all the sugar cubes. Phase two, question mark, question mark, question mark. Phase three, profit. With a blind jump. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, is this the boss? This is the boss. Oh. Freezer monster. Hmm. Oh. Do you want to, like, hit him once and then jump over? Whoop, jump. Guy's like on his football monster football team, huh? Oop. Ah! It's like difficult to get a. Uh... Okay. Oop. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I thought it was melting. Looks like he just kind of crouched down there. Whose kitchen is this? Is a good question. 
the TV show would probably explain everything because the TV show is probably actually about the two children who live in the house and then talks about all the monsters that infest their home. Huh. Whoa, okay. Hmm. And that's like almost something out of Castlevania, isn't it? Whoa. Oh, look at that. Our punches are so powerful they can destroy the fireballs. Yep. It's good that it basically just me just stay there and spam it. Hmm. Nice bricks. And even this too, I'm kind of like mildly impressed by this. See, so you've got a little shadowy section there with darker bricks. Golf balls! Oh, and you can't stand on that. A very balanced move, yeah. Hmm. So how am I supposed to get over the golf balls when they come after me? Jump, jump, double jump? Okay. Whoop. Oh my goodness. Monster for smash. Hey, yeah. Here we go. Let's see. This is about the only thing you can actually do, though, is he's got the double... Got the double jump that seems to work when it wants to work. Let's see, jump. Hmm. I see, so you can only do like the double jump while you're moving up. It's like after you start falling, it won't work. It's gonna be like, jump and jump again. Hmm, what is this? Sewer level? Oh boy. We haven't seen that trope before. What a completely original idea. Well, then again, when this came out, it probably was original. I mean, relatively speaking. Continue. Crisis from underground, I see. Down, 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 down. That's how falling sounds, trust me, yeah. Hmm. I wonder what originated the trope of the sound for things that are falling. It's kind of been around for a long time by this point. Okay. Yep, use double jump to dodge the golf balls. Whoop, gotcha. <laughs> if you're not falling with that sound, you're just not falling right. Yeah, it's like thinking, just kind of makes me think of Buzz Lightyear. I'm not flying, I'm falling with style. I don't know if Buzz Lightyear ever made that sound, though. Ooh. Nice little groove going on there with the music. Wait for the next cycle. Okay, so it pukes out, pukes out two of them and has a short delay. Cycle. Whoop. See, these guys take two punches, though. It's not a problem, just. Uh, okay, well, maybe it is kind of a problem. Go, go, go. Life. Nice. Get rid of you before something else comes in from the right side. Whoa, okay. Yeah, they definitely have some strong Castlevania borrowings taking place in this. Of course, they're free to do, because it's also Konami. Ugh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't fall into the poo sludge. Go. Ah, oh, time for another boss already. What? Where's... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Interesting. Happy Halloween. <laughs> What's going on, Naomi? Yeah. We have monsters in our pockets, apparently. Or pocket-sized monsters. And giant things with tentacles that... Oh. oh. All right. 4% battery. Oh, no. Well, thank you, Higinatsuki, for raining those 20s. And I'll see you later. 
Yeah. Watch out for the... Okay. So get in there. Dodge the tentacle. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Could have another tentacle coming up here. Yeah. Oh, to be it anyway. Jump. Ah. Hmm. This is feeling trickier than, like, I think it should be. Nope. get to hear the death sound again. I guess we kind of have accidentally landed on a horror-ish based theme. Because <laughs> so we ended up going to um, Friday the 13th, just because of everybody talking about Jason. This was completely random, though. I just typed in exclamation point game. And it gave it, Oh! Okay. Odd. So you can apparently walk. Oh, hey, well, thank you for thank you for following. Yeah, um, yeah, we got a wide number of things that takes place here. This is just one of the many many shows. It's got a Windows 95 night occasionally where we'll go over those old shareware CDs that have like 500 games on them. Oh, watch out for thumbtacks. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Ooh, I'd like that. Oh, it stops when you are not on it. Okay, it's not bad. Oh. Whoop. Ah, crap. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, you get a lot to look at. Oh, whoop. Okay, wait, I saw that. Okay, and go! Oh. Okay, so jump while it... Ah, uh, game over. Jump while the thing is extended so that way you land after it's fully retracted. Towering catastrophe. Okay. I'd rather stay on the bottom. Oh, or maybe not. Hmm. Okay, well, extra life is nice. Or energy, rather, I guess. Climb on up. Whoop. Okay, good. They collide off of that and run away. Oh! You have to wait for the screen to be fully scrolled up first, otherwise it won't scroll horizontally at that part. Alright. Keep my eyes open for these guys a little bit better this time. Okay, so you're gonna go... Whoop. Over and come back. Same with you. Whoop! Got it. Ah, oh, I missed the life though. But that's fine. I'll probably take more damage. Oh, trying to get it. Okay. Gotcha. Oh. Okay. Three hits. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's some classic um, pit knockback, huh? Oh, and he's gonna hit me again. Oh, and these guys also have four arms, it looks like. Okay. Oh, okay, gotcha. No, 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 no. Yes. Okay, got it. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Sudden surprise attack. Oh! <laughs> Not the pose I would expect to see. Oh. We have another one I need to pause on that frame. There. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like... It's like giving that paint me like one of your French girls vibe. Oh. Accidentally turned around there. Got it. Tribe of slide goblins, huh? Oh, that was a nice sound. Something good probably happened. Okay. There we go. <laughs> this game does not have a shortage of enemy variety. 
Yeah, it's um, done pretty good so far. Seems like he'll come up with a new enemy and then try to get its mile whoop, try to get its mileage out of it, and then move on to the next one. Oh, okay. Only one hit on the um, Chimera. That's what it's looking like. Okay, another life, whatever that is. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So. Oh. Oh my, okay. I'm just gonna dodge all of this stuff. Okay, that one. That one went on an intercept path. Okay, nice. Okay, here we go. So what are these exactly? I guess it's just a jar with a heart in it. Oh, okay. Hook goblin. Oh. Mm, that doesn't work. Okay. Oh, that causes damage when it's coming down, I see. Shadow going down the rabbit hole and finding yourself on the SWAT Cats wiki. Oh, uh, wasn't that the one that I had the Super NES cartridge for? I think so. Oh, oh no. It's fine. Extra lives. Oh, this music gets faster, I think. Watch that. Hmm. A villain is being described as half cat, half snake, half iguana. <laughs> Someone doesn't understand how math works. Um. <laughs> That's fractions for you. I mean, I know it's kind of a trope, too, though. It's kind of making fun of things adding up to more than 100%. Oh! Oh, nice. <laughs> Actually, knock him off of the crane there. Alright. Stage 4 clear. Oriental Illusion. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so we got the bamboo in the background. Hmm. Not sure what exactly is going on with these ground enemies. Their design is different. Alright, goodbye, bamboo. Hello to a bridge. Oh, nasty green water, huh? Oh, no no jump frame, they just kind of move up. Oh, well, it's fine. Oh, oh, I'm not back. Oh, poor boy. Whoa, he's got lasers. Very carefully balanced screw just sitting on top of the barbed wire. No problem. Hmm. You can fall down through this one. This one you cannot. Blind jump it is, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> so what? <laughs> what in the world is that yellow thing? That's... So it looks like it might be reading your inputs here. So it's hitting left and right, it was changing directions. Oh. Last continue, it looks like. <laughs> What's that? What is that? <laughs> WTF, yeah. The yellow thing, yep. The world may never know. Unless they have, like, better quality art in the instruction manual. 
Hmm, that would be an interesting idea for a chat command, actually, wouldn't it? Do exclamation point PDF. You know, do a Google search for um, whatever the name is of the current game that's being played, along with uh, PDF, to try to find a copy of it and post a link to it in chat. Oh, hit the double jump too late, so it didn't do it. Oh, crap. Well, two lives into the green goo, just like that. Yeah, the laser dudes. Now that is interesting to try to... Just stay high up on the screen. Right on top of them. Okay. Ah, uh, I see how this works now. Yep, so the yellow dudes are... <laughs> oh, they're like booze. That's what it is. So if you're facing away from them, they come running at you. But as soon as you turn towards them, they slow down and start running away. Well, walking away, I guess. It's not much of a run. Gotcha. Okay. So, gradually figuring this out. It's pretty neat. I'm not sure if I've ever even played this one before or not. This might be... This is definitely the farthest along I've ever made it. If I have played this before, you know, it would just been like the first level. Oh. More weird stuff. Oh, it shoots bones. Or... Yeah. Of course, we got foreground objects here, so we can't see where the bones are coming from. That's perhaps for the best. So this is still kind of weird with the way how the ground... Like, the ground moves faster, but you can hop up onto background elements here. But background still scrolls at the same slow speed when you're walking on it. Kind of breaks the perspective quite a bit. Okay, I'm just going to jump over them when they charge at me. Yeah. Ooh, boss time. Oh, my. Um. Hmm. So much flicker. Uh, so one of them will attack. And the one that attacks is the real one. Whoa. Wonder if the fake ones still damage you. If you like crash into them. If either of those hits just connected. Oh. Kind of rough if it's one of the bottom ones. Mandatory double jump. Hoping I could just spam that. Game over. Uh, actual game over now. Alright, time for another new game. Battletoads and Double Dragon? Okay. Um, 
I mean, I gotta go with Rash, right? He's got the rad sunglasses on. That's good, though. At least it is, um... Jimmy and Billy instead of Jimmy and Bimmy. Bobo not like intruders, something. I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. Auto scroller? Oh, nice early one up. Hmm. Thus far, it just feels like Battle Toads. Punch the fan. Hey! No, no, stop that. I'm supposed to be punching you. Okay. Hmm. So nope, we just stand on top of the fan. Oh. Alright, well, it looks like there's something in the emulator that's not accurate enough to play this game, so. <laughs> on to the next one. Yeah, it's like um, all the Battletoads games have some of the most intense requirements for perfect CPU timing. <laughs> Stop that, sounds like Future was talking to your game song. Something. No, sire. Please wait just a little longer. This is Kid Cool in the quest for the Seven Wonder Herbs. I'm tired of waiting. Yes, your highness. It seems he has just arrived. Oh, okay. Victor Kai. Hmm. Start 1 1. Hmm. What do we have here? We can run, we can jump. We can jump on top of enemies, okay. Stop it, you say. <laughs> Don't listen. Yeah. Tail is old as time when it comes to video game enemies. Or video games in general. This is interesting. You jump on these enemies the first time, it kind of pushes them into the ground, and the second jump pushes them in the rest of the way. Kid Cool is fast. What's up, Deshaun? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he gets some speed here. He also needs speed for... Oh. Need the speed in order to jump higher. Whoop. Okay. Oh. I just got Kaizo blocked. <laughs> Jumped up and hit that thing and it spit out some money at me. It also bumped me right down into the enemy. Oh, okay. That guy was hype. Oh, I did it again. Same block, too. Highness, it seems... Oh. Oh my, I'm so heartbroken. The game is over, isn't it? Yeah, good old fourth wall. Breaking. Hmm? Oh. I'm sorry about that. I guess I died. <laughs> I suppose you couldn't have avoided it. I'll give you one more chance. Here. Oh my goodness. The king can bring people back from the dead. The king expects an answer from you, so I'm off. <laughs> I guess I died. Yep. If only we could come across hidden money like the IRL. I don't know. It'd probably be like you're trying to cross the street. Right? You're trying to cross the street, and the hidden Kaizo money pops out and hits you. And then suddenly traffic comes, and you get run over by a car. Pop, pop. Interesting, though. Okay. This thing has a little propeller on top. I'm not sure if safe to jump on. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting... Oh, my goodness. Okay. So that's like... That is unpleasant. <laughs> Extremely unpleasant. <laughs> that's gonna be disorienting, yeah. Now look at this too, because you need, you need the right amount of horizontal momentum. Okay, good, so we can still knock that thing down to the ground. You need enough horizontal momentum to make it up there. Got it. Oh, more hidden money, okay. Oh, I guess I died again. <laughs> of course, complete start from complete start from the beginning every time. Beginning to feel glad that this was not one of the games that I owned when I was a kid. 
<laughs> Highness, it seems cool has died. Oh my, I'm so heartbroken. The game is over, isn't it? I'm sorry about that. I guess I died. I suppose you couldn't have avoided it. I'll give you one more chance. Here. <laughs> you had the misfortune of going back to the future as a kid. Yeah. The king expects an answer from you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember renting it. Think, oh, wait a minute. Oh. Inter interesting. So this one you actually pick up and throw it. Yeah, I don't think even the Game Genie helped with that as a kid, because you still had the... Uh, had the cafe bit where you have to throw the sodas at the bullies. Oh, sad when fun movies have bad games. Yeah. Also got um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Video Game Adventure is another good example of that. Oh! This is not a platform which you can choose to either run in front of or climb up on top of. Played a lot because it was one of the only games you had, but yeah, it wasn't fun. Hmm. How does that work? Okay, I so see you toss it. Oh, and it comes back to you, too. I see. Well, that changes things significantly. Yeet! First thing about it is the last level. If you don't get the car up to speed by the end of the level, it's game over. Hmm. It makes sense if you think about it, you know. There's only one lightning bolt, and you're trapped in 1955 forever if you don't manage to meet it on time. Oh. Doesn't matter how many lives you have when you get there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that, thing is, that thing's doing, like, pog lips, isn't it? Reroll for another game. Activision? Oh, this sounds familiar. Galaxy 5000! I played this on actual hardware, I think, all of one time. You made it to the end once, messed up, and never played it again. Nowadays, you could just go on YouTube and see what the ending is like, huh? Get ready for Race 1 Mercury. Which one am I? I'm... Silver. Okay, yeah. So we can jump. We can also shoot. Oh, why would you want to go that way? It's longer. Oh, they're coming for me. It's a race, but you can also kill the other players at the same time. Around we go. Arg. Nope, got confused again. So the bottom path is the shortcut, not the top path. Hey! Cut it out. Pause. Oh, the select button pauses this game. How weird. Mm -hmm. Yes, and GG Future Rush on successfully finishing Sonic CD, even though the game decided to be a jerk. The space version of RC Pro. What I remember about this game being interesting is if it runs out of time, it actually starts to destroy the course. So you can fall off the end of it and die in space. Controls on this are interesting, though. It's like you press... Well, actually, it said you had two different options of controls on the title screen. These controls, you press one of eight directions, and your little space racer triangle thing will rotate towards that direction. <laughs> Funky. Race one, Mercury completed. We get money. Oh, your tomahawk is damaged? You need 100,000 to buy a crusher. Get ready for race two Mercury. Oh, it's the same course again. Okay. I guess you can't explode if you take enough damage. <laughs> His voice clips. Oh, it's dangerous now. Yeah, there's traps on the course. Well, it gives me a reason to actually need to jump. Oh, ow. 
Yeah, I think if you take enough damage, you will actually die. So I guess the other control scheme is probably... Uh, oh, landed on the spikes. Uh, other control scheme is probably left and right rotate you like, clockwise and counterclockwise. Okay. Yeah, I remember the most enjoyment I had with the PC version of Sonic CD was just taking the disc and putting it in a regular CD player so I could listen to all of the music. Yeah, and then all the animations on that were just .avi files, so you could just open the CD up in Windows Explorer and watch any of the videos whenever you wanted to. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, I finished second. <laughs> we're looking kind of drab, yeah. Oh, so that's how RC program works? Is where you hold down, or actually, which way is RC program? Is RC program clockwise and counterclockwise, or is it um, rotate towards the direction you're pushing? Is it the same course yet again? Oh, there's speed boosters now. Looks like. Okay. I see. So you probably want to hit the boosters then. There's a booster right here. Yes. Oh, careful, careful. Oh, I'm also kind of putting a little bit too much wear and tear on my thumb here. I'm like pushing down harder on the D-pad. I'm like, you know what? I really probably don't need to do that. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> you know, you can fall off that section where there's no guardrail. Oh, I bet you could probably jump over the guardrails, too, and die wherever you want to. Hmm. This looks like you're basically just mostly screwed if you fall off. Don't know where first and second place are. Boost, boost. I'm too close to the edge of the screen now. The camera can't catch up. Third place. Future us enjoys this game. Okay. And confirmation about being clockwise and counterclockwise, I see. I'll probably reset this real quick in a minute. And try the other control scheme out and see if that's what it does. And Future Us enjoys uh, Sonic CD. Really short. If you don't care making good futures, but it's quite long if you want to explore, there's not enough time to see all the past, present, future, good and bad future for every zone at every stage. You could probably come up with a um, Game Genie ish code for it to give you unlimited time. Oh, you wanted to show the size of the maps in Sonic City? You forgot after the YouTube came into the stream? Yeah. Oh, I played kitty videos instead. Not that. Oh, Tomahawk is wasted. And I don't have enough. Oh, okay. You spent your money like this to repair your ship. Oh, <laughs> you can... <laughs> that was funny. So you can choose to put the damage back onto your ship and get the money back. Hmm, okay. Oh, a lot more spikes this time. I don't know what that green thing is. Is that a stationary turret? It's a something. Hop. Yeah, those are stationary turrets. They're firing. How many races there are per planet? Because this one's still going. Boost. Just cut corners here and jump over the track. Pretty basic music. Pop. Whoop. Let's see. They probably would have made this faster, wouldn't they, if it were on uh, 
newer console. Okay. Boost. Okay. No, <laughs> it's too much repair. Take it off. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it costs money. <laughs> Sonic City music might be the best part. Wacky Workbench is the worst part, but not worse than the final area in Sonic 1. That is the worst, yeah. Also, look up the music on, on YouTube. Um, the Japanese version of Sonic CD has a completely different soundtrack to the American version. Yeah. Let's take off that much damage so that we have exactly 80k. <laughs> oh, we're leaving Mercury. Venus. It's purple now. Steam version, what you choose, you think? Yeah. Um, what I did notice, though, is that on the Steam version, Toot Toot Sonic Warrior is still just not, um, not in the game. So that was like the original um, intro song. Which is kind of weird, because I think the Invincibility still plays the instrumental version of the song, but the original version with the lyrics is not present for the intro video. Hmm. All the computer players know where all the shortcuts are, and I do not. Yeah, yeah, so you can make that jump if you know what you're doing. I remember telling one kid about the intro song, Sonic Boom, on Sonic CD, and he told me it was a Street Fighter 2 song. I'm like, no, it's on the Sonic CD CD. <laughs> and it plays during the intro animation. <laughs> hmm. Sonic CD is really visually busy. I think it takes you out of it. Hmm. Kind of skip that without doing any repairs. Oh, you know what? Let's just get blown up. Come on, turret, do it. No, no, stop. Oh, just keeps. Oh, it looks like all you're doing is. Oh, there we go. I blew up. Game over. Or continues one. Game over. Beta controls. Ah, uh, so these think whatever these controls are, they think they're worse than the alpha controls. Oh my goodness, okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so beta controls are clockwise and counterclockwise, but you do also have to press up to accelerate. But it does mean you can hold down to slow down and come to a stop. So yeah, yeah. Left is counterclockwise and right is clockwise. So completely different from the... Let's see, how many different directions are there? There's one... Hey! Okay, just knock me off. One, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 directions. So you actually have a little bit more... Well, I don't know. If you let go of a direction with the alpha controls, then I suppose if you were in between uh, cardinal directions, it would keep moving in that direction. Yeah, I think the alpha controls might be a bit easier to handle. But if you're used to games where it controls like this, then it's, it's a good thing that they actually gave you the option of choosing what kind of controls you wanted. Jump. Oh yeah, and let's just come to a stop here. Can't go in reverse. Ah, oh, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Yep, so the whole track just disappears. <laughs> so if you didn't finish in time, you're dead. Okay, let's see. Game. 
Oh, slalom. <laughs> okay, sure. This was really difficult to get working in the emulator. It actually uses precise timing. Hmm? Oh, remind you of marbles on stream? Oh, with the thing uh, killing off everybody who's left at the end. Yeah, this was a difficult one to get running in the emulator because the the effect here requires a very precise timing on the CPU. Instead of having those smooth lines down the sides of the track on this, it would be all jagged. We had a comment last time about how well-defined the skier's butt was, right? <laughs> Sexy Flanders, yeah, there we go. Futurist has played video games too much today. 10 hours, no team man, so is that total time of first stream plus total time of second stream? Hmm. I've probably had days where it was a day off, you know, I'm just like, yeah, screw it. Wake up, do games, eat, do games, go to sleep. <laughs> Almost more likely to want to do that currently now that I just have the one day off a week. But I actually spent most of today sleeping. <laughs> the animations, yeah. This was a really early um, game for the NES. I'm not, I don't think it was a black box title, though. I don't remember. Yeah, Let's see. And there's your option between pizza and french fries. Pizza, french fries, pizza, <laughs> french fries. And hold up. Hold up to <laughs> present the butt. <laughs> Both the A button and the B button do the jump, so not too much. Um, hold up to hold up the torque, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Need some appropriate music for that, but yeah, it's totally, <laughs> totally twerktacular. <laughs> oh, Kyro needs this, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if there's any benefit to actually going in between the flags or not. It doesn't make any nice little think noises. So I can't tell whether it's good or bad. Cotton candy? I don't know what it's talking about. Well, again, thanks to not currently having access to the instruction manual, I don't know what you're actually trying to do to this other than get the fastest best of time possible. You get some serious speed as long as you're not crashing into trees. You know, perspective on this makes it look more like the trees are just kind of spontaneously growing up out of the ground. Resident Evil 2, Sonic CD, and Rocket League. That's like a triathlon, huh? Ah, uh, failed at cotton candy. So sad. This was a black box game, okay. I bet you probably have the black box for it too, to verify, huh? If anybody had a complete black box collection, I think you're the one, huh? <laughs> the only game with booty this thick, yeah. What else does the randomizer have for us? Oh, Ice Climber? Okay. Speaking of black box games, huh? Look at that even. Copyright 1984. NES wasn't even released in America yet. Go, Terror Dactyl. Take the egg plants. Up to the top. You have complete five screw black box cards, but very few black box boxes. I see. Still though, can you tell from the front of the game pack whether it was a black box game? Or do you just have to have the knowledge? Yeah, you get out of here. Big football. Okay, up, up, please. Up, please, got it. You can tell from the label. So... Yeah, it's nice that it can at least be convenient and easy to tell apart sometimes. Bonus stage. Twink. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, no bonus. 
the age of janky jump physics. At least you only have to make it that far, since that's considered a bonus area. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's no jump correction once you're in the air. You commit to your jump. Oh. Hmm. Icicles. That actually start out looking like boogers. That's <laughs> drip. stage once again. Oh, what is it, like carrots this time? That's what that looks like. Who did the music for this one? Was it, was it Tanaka? Oh. No. The John, John Bois video considered lost media? It had a YouTube copyright strike and was removed. That's not nice. I got something that's kind of lost media-ish. It's the backstory behind it. As everybody knows, or probably remembers how Newgrounds had the Flash portal where people would upload their Flash animations to. Oh, those guys are rebuilding. Yeah, so videos... Everybody would vote on the videos during that initial phase. And then the videos would either be blammed, in which case they'd be deleted from the site, or they'd be protected. Oh no. <laughs> you turn very white when the pterodactyl gets you. So there was a flash animation that was uploaded to Newgrounds. And yes, it got blammed. But for some reason, I felt the need to download a copy of it. And so I still have it. <laughs> just, I don't know why, I just... What are these, cabbages? <laughs> My cabbages! <laughs> Actually, it looks more like a head of lettuce, doesn't it? Iceberg lettuce. I did a search, though, search online, and I couldn't find any other instance of this particular animation. And it is absolutely a terrible animation. But, I don't know, sometimes that's the sort of thing that needs to be preserved somehow. Iceberg lettuce? Oh, actually, that does make more sense. Ice climber it would be iceberg lettuce. <laughs> you cut the pun. Oh, wait a minute. That wouldn't work, though. It's just made in Japan. What would they have called iceberg lettuce in Japan? Ice Climber, such a pinnacle of platform jumping. Yep. Oh. Actually, it looks like, speaking of pinnacles, looks like at the pinnacle of your jump. If you're holding down... If you're holding down the direction when you reach the pinnacle of your jump, you will go ahead and move forward. So it's not 100%. Well, see, like right there. Once this part jumps, that jump arc is going to conclude in that direction. Also, look at the hitboxes. Game over. Uh, you can pause. In the middle of your death. Now, this is the game that would not work with the slow motion feature on controllers at all. Turn that on, it's like... Something that really changed with internet streaming and DVR that reintroduced a pre-VCR problem. Ah uh, yeah, stuff only getting broadcast once and then never again. Like, it's still kind of really unfortunate how terrible the quality is on any copy of the Star Wars Holiday Special that's still around. Can we make it? Yes, we can. Up, please, okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, I'm kind of... 
really feeling like things need to be archived as well. I know that there's always going to be more and more media. Eventually there's going to be too much media. Well, there's already too much media. There's no way anybody can consume every single thing in their lifetime. It's kind of... Really something to try to decide what you want to spend your time on and what you don't. Hmm. Oop. Took about 10 to 20 years for the problem to start to manifest itself, but 21st century media is more likely to be lost than media from the last 25 years of the 20th century. Hmm. Yeah. Is it really terrible? I feel the universe tried to do us all a favor. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, considering the state of... So, like, it would still be several more years before YouTube poops really started to take off. And this is exactly... I mean, it's not YouTube poop style at all, but it absolutely is something that kind of just belongs in that era of, like, intentionally bad animations. Sean show used to watch his kid that there's almost no archive because it was recorded to tape, and they recorded over the tapes of previous episodes to cut costs. Oh, yeah. It's funny... Like, you know, I think about my own experience at home with, like, recording onto a tape and then trying to re-record over the top of that tape and how terrible the quality used to be on that. And it just kind of makes me wonder about TV stations doing that for, like, their actual shows. It's like, how could that have possibly worked out? But I guess if you have an actual tape eraser that you could just hold up to the tape and have the whole thing go and erase it, that probably comes out looking nicer than what you get if you just record straight over the top of the tape. Hmm. This is a nasty segment of the level. Okay, so now we got a hole to get through. Oh, now we have a bigger hole to get through. Okay. <laughs> the hole continues to get larger. Got it. Sickle forming from moving platforms now. Kind of fancy. Oh, nope. Oh, he's dead. Maybe we'll get balloon fight next. Hmm, you never know. It's completely random. Collision detection, please. Yeah. What is it like? Like, good 50% of his sprites, like, overlapping with the thing. Probably only has a single pixel in the dead center that's actually used for um, the collision. Oh, something we can't play. Hooray. Maybe. Yep. I'm pushing buttons and nothing's happening. It's a power pad game. I have to look up on um, Nest Dev Wiki and see how the power pad is actually implemented before I could add support for that into my emulator. The <laughs> power pad? Then how do you play Street Cop? <laughs> Just have to live without that one. I have a real physical power pad, but I don't have that many actual power pad games. I also don't know if the foam in said physical power pad is deteriorated to the point where it won't function anymore. Now that's an untapped market, isn't it? Somebody like Hyper can make a new um, replacement power pad. Actually, I don't know if I even have any power pad games. Maybe like two in total power pad games for sale in my store right now, so. Mule. Whoever's still making DDR pads could do it. Yeah, it's the exact same technology. I'd say it's just the chip in between that would need to be custom. Power pad refurbs. <laughs> Cracked up, found is calling. Yeah. I think it's the law that you have to listen to the mule song. One player. Press all player buttons. Okay. Uh, beginner, yes. Press your button to select. Oh. And salmon. Yeah, let's take the salmon color. Pick your species. 
spheroid from the Roldo system. Spheroids are well-rounded pioneers that hate square corners and straight lines. Leggy from the Afghani Plains. Legites have their feet on the ground, heads in the clouds, and legs everywhere. How do I get the ones in between? Or can you not do that? Wait. Down. Oh, okay. Humanoid from the Earth systems start with $400 less because they're too smart. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen to the music. Yeah. Oh, now Sots wants to know what the power pad looks like on the inside. I expect the similar thing has like the little lines going one direction and then foam with holes in it and then lines going the other direction on top. So when you step on it, it squishes the foam and then the lines on the top make contact with the lines on the bottom. Then when you take your foot off, the foam expands and separates the lines from each other. Packer from the silicon system. They love food and make excellent farmers when they don't gobble their crop. Gollumer? From the Neckite galaxy, Gollumers love land. To get it, they are willing to stick their neck out. Hmm. Mechtron evolved from a robotic mutation. Mechtrons are quick deciphers and efficient doers. <laughs> cool foam, yeah. Um, well, I had to fix for somebody else. I had to fix their um, PS3 controller the other day. Because the piece of foam that holds the ribbon against the board had deteriorated and it wasn't providing enough pressure anymore. Bonzoid from the arm pull galaxy. Bonzoids love climbing and are often found hanging around the mountains. <laughs> Ooh, crack has a power pad that's splitting on the bottom. You'll have to split it all the way. For science! Please insert lightning bolts here. Arm pull galaxy. Oh, hanging around the mountains. Okay. Lastly, flapper from the Boyard Drop Galaxy. All flappers receive an extra six hundred dollars in their nest egg. Well, sure. Boring, flapper. Okay. You're landing on the planet Irata transport ship. Eight. Eight. Hmm. Should have made the sprites dance, huh? Okay, so I have the most money. The ship will be back in six months. Press your button to select a plot. Hmm. I want the one that's right next to the castle. Oh, somebody else wanted it too. Mine. No. Mine. Okay. Looks like the computer players all have the same idea I do. They want right next to the castle. Okay. I pressed a button. Okay. <laughs> There's our walk cycle. <laughs> yeah, he's a flapping all right. Oh, and there's our vertical flapping. <laughs> oh, I went to the mule corral. Mule costs a hundred. Okay, I'll buy one. Hmm. Oh. Wow. Wow. Um. Mining outfitting. Seventy-five dollars to outfit mule. Okay. Like I was still reading that, but fine. Energy outfitting. Fifty to outfit outfit mule for energy. Oh, so it just does one. Pub. No mules allowed. <laughs> so I should have done that first, huh? Start. Select A button. Return the mule. No, I think I'll keep it, but... Maybe we want farm. I don't know. Outf outfit mule for food. Yep. Yeah, it's got like the little sickle or scythe, whatever that is. But what else do I do here? Just wait for the timer to run out? Okay, time has run out. Computer is thinking. $104 gambling. $152 gambling. $215 gambling, huh? 
Oh, meteorite strike. Production. I didn't get any production. <laughs> Status number one, Smithor. Okay, Duke. Good night, future rush. See you later. Hmm. Do I push stick to declare as buyer or seller? Uh, stores, no units sell? I don't know. I need the. Um, hmm. I have no idea what's going on. This is a instruction manual required game. See, like now I'm pushing buttons and nothing's happening except my little guy is doing a dance. Hmm. And the select button again is the pause button here. Well, let's just ask for a new game. Die hard. Okay. Oh my. That was a high pitched tone. Ooh. Terrorists have invaded the Nakatomi building. Send the police now. Yeah, beginner. Oh, no, that's interesting. Line of sight. Ooh. Oh, well, I got shot. Okay. This has some high-pitched tones in it. Okay. Um, stairwell. Is this a map? Can I look at the map, huh? That sounds like one of those people over a certain age can't hear those tones. Definitely. That's... Gotcha. It's like you gotta wonder what exactly was going on during development. This is a really interesting perspective, though. Hmm. Are those cans of soda? Oh. Oh. Trying to dodge in between the bullets and getting getting hit. Oh my! You sir have quite the spread shot. Gotcha. Uh, of course he spills his. <laughs> Your first, <laughs> my first thought is sweet. I can still hear this. Yeah. Okay, so there's oh, it yep, goes again. Spraying his bullets all over the place. Do I have a limited number of bullets? Oh. Oh. Oh, I wasted it though. I was just <laughs> wanting to test it and see what happens. John checks his pistol to find 14 bullets in the clip. Alright, sure. Why not? Oh. Don't know where I'm trying to go or why. So we'll just run around until we die. Then ask the computer for another game. Of course anybody else could interrupt the game in progress if they want to. Get a random one or even ask for a specific one. And here we go. It's a Christmas video game and a Christmas movie. <laughs> Oh, I don't have any bullets left now, so I'm just punching. Just go in there and punch dudes with guns. Oh, what's that? Oh, I punched the elevator? It's one of those elevators that can only visit five different floors. Can't go to 30th floor while the host excuse me, while the hostages are there. Uh 34. I don't know anything about how this game actually works. Okay, oh, what's this? Dead monkeys? Hey, punch, 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 punch. Oh, oh there's two guys. Hey, we, oh. Yeah, just machine gun, yeah. And <laughs> he dropped his coke, too. That's nice. 
Coca-Cola specifically. That's kind of what it looks like is a Coke can. I see, so we can... Hans. Franco. Go check out the 34th floor. Yep, there is stuff going on down here, all right. It's a little small room. wonder if they have... Oh, Theo. Lock one is down, Hans. I expect about a half hour to go. Hmm. Got a couple more soda cans. See, so these tables and my character, the perspective does not match on them. Because, see, like, my guy is, like angled like like that but the tables are like angled like that Oop, Hans Marco go something you gotta be ready to read your dialogue boxes because they will not stick around for you hmm so what is this it's a table with something on it hmm I can take multiple bullets, but these guys only need to be hit by one. That was a walking animation. Yeah. Like... <laughs> it's... It's a thing. Who did it say made this again? Activation... Oh! Oh my, a thing has happened here. Some type of explosion? <laughs> Picked up that, whatever that is. Oh, axe. Got the eye. Uh, hey. It's because I already have one. It won't let me. Wait, what's this? Oh. Oh, grenades. Well, they're gone now. Hmm. Logs. Life. Feet. <laughs> I know his feet are important, but I've still not watched the original movie. I feel like the original movie is really the only one that I really need to watch, but I don't know. Maybe after watching it, I might decide I do want to go ahead and watch more. I don't know, it's difficult to gauge whether you should continue watching movies or not, because, like, you know, Robocop and then Robocop 2 and then Robocop 3, it kind of leaves you just thinking, eh. Not sure whether that was such a good idea after all or not. Because, I mean, on the one hand, Robocop does fly, but on the other hand, <laughs> Robocop flies. And also, it's Robocop 3. <laughs> hmm. There's probably quite a few movies that I would have been capable of watching if I had watched them when I was much younger, and now I would just... Well, maybe I'd still enjoy movies now, just for the wrong reasons. Get to the point where you can laugh at movies and stuff. Oh, wait. John uses the first aid kit to help ease the pain in his feet. Twice. First three diehards are good. Fourth one is so ridiculous it's good. Ooh. Hmm. I might actually want to skip and watch the fourth one first and then watch the other three then. Unless they specifically have, um,. References to events that do require them to be watched in a specific order. Aw. Our unwelcome guest won't be bothering us anymore. Gentlemen, we are now $640 million richer. You lose game over. Okay. Oh, Dr. Mario. Alright. Do a quick round. Hi. Actually, let's do high 10. Hmm, okay. Go. Not much to say about Dr. Mario. It's Dr. Mario. Arrange the capsules. Do stupid things like that. This works. Drop the pills and let's go. Get over there quickly. Uh, I don't like that. Okay. Um, yeah. At least we have good music. Hmm. I'm making a mess. 
feel pleasure. Okay, that's good. Da -da -da. <laughs> You're confident I'll catch on quick? I see. Oh, get it. Okay. Um, okay. Bloop. Bonk. Hmm. Oh. One, two, three, four, yes. Actually, yeah, no. Sadness. Much sad. Ah, crap. Okay, we'll just do this. Bloop. Blonk. Let's try to. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and actually, real quickly. You know, I realized I didn't do this first, which is kind of super critical. There. Tell, um, voice meter to restart itself. Because that really should be kind of like step zero for doing anything related to streaming, because voice meter likes to screw up like nobody's business. Baseline in this track is also so incredibly good. Da, 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 da. Make a mess and then clean it up. <laughs> Lyrics relevant to whatever you have to be doing. Ooh. Good little sideways. Hmm. This is kind of turning into a mess. Alright, put that in. Let's just clean up the top. Oh, that's not going to work for that. Okay. Hey, Slash, what's going on? What are you doing? We're just doing our... Kind of haven't done it for a while, but we're back to traditional wed nest day, where the game gets swapped out for who knows what. Yeah. The other randomizer just decided we're gonna... Oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> it decided we were gonna land on Dr. Mario for a little while, so... Just arranging a few capsules, but having a bit of difficulty on that front. Oh! There we go. Yeah, see, because I decided, you know, easy is too easy. Let's put it on the high speed. Because that would be some real fun. Give me pill combinations that do not result in good clearing of the board. Oops. I was too busy looking at it. Okay. There we go, and then it... Oh, that's actually on the chain. Nice. Mostly just want to clear this one level, and then move on to another game. Okay, not bad. Clear you, clear you. Mm. Yeah, actually, all of this stuff over here is kind of buried, so I should probably try to just go like that. Okay, good. 
Let's get rid of that. Make sure that works too. Just gonna move stuff out of the way. I need, well, let's get rid of this first. Yellow goes away, and blue goes away. <laughs> the music of insanity. <laughs> That song, <laughs> Flying Pig. I don't think I've ever seen that before. This actually has a special cutscene for clearing um, stage 20 and the highest speed, which doesn't exactly happen for me without using Game Genie. All right, random it up. Conquest of the Crystal Palace? Huh, by Asmic? The crystals are glowing? Huh. Hello, Farron. I'm Zap, your guardian dog. Now I can reveal the truth. I was once a keeper of the Crystal Palace. And you were a prince in this mighty kingdom. Many years ago, Zeras of the Infernal Plateau conquered the Crystal Palace and crowned himself king. You were just a baby then. Now we are the only survivors. Before I escaped, I sealed the crystal powers. The time has come to take these crystals and bring back our kingdom. For now, take only one crystal. The life crystal increases your health. Spirit Crystal increases your weaponry. The Flight Crystal increases jumping skill. Hmm. Go with jumping. We are ready to defeat King Zeras. Nice scroll there. Hmm. Okay, so we have sword. We have jump. Okay, so it's not... Kind of weird. I'd like this to be seen, what exactly is going on here. So, like, once you tap the direction, it starts moving in that direction. You can change your direction, but, like, once you tap either direction, you'll continue to move in that direction. So, if you want to make sure you land back down where you came from, you gotta, you gotta do a little jiggle here. Just need to look at those statues in the background right there. Oh, we have birds. We have birds. Ah. Figures. Pretty much to be expected. You have birds in a video game, they're gonna be terrible. Oh, interesting. So if you use your weapon while you're in the air, it cancels your jump and brings you back down again. Gotcha. Ooh. So you can't, like, be jumping up and bring your sword up into the enemy. You have to be higher than them and bring it down. Oh. Or if it's a bird, you just get... You just get wrecked. Select button? Nothing. Start button? Just pause. Okay, and we don't have anything special for, like, holding up or down while pressing the B button. Oh, Background is changing. Uh, killer plant. 
<laughs> guess this came out first. That... Ah. Uh, hole that just randomly spews <laughs> weird goo at us. Oh, actually, I want the coin. Yeah, I think I want the coin. I don't know what the coins will do yet. No. That one gets away. Bird. Oh, no, there's giant boulders. This must be Death Mountain. Actually, what? It's difficult to get a good look at that sprite. It's like sort of a snake because it's like sort of or it's, it's not really like it's actually doing more of like the cliche worm like the inchworm movement it's got these weird eyes on the ends of stalks like an alligator mouth or gotcha oh now it's nighttime hi 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 Okay. Ah, uh, we've got a bit of a timing inaccuracy here. That's probably not supposed to jump like that. Herbs restore some of your life power. Jumping shoes give you more jumping skill. I don't know what that means, though. Buy the fire scroll and you can handle fire. If you buy the dog whistle, you can use the up button for something great. How much does it cost? Okay. Cost is a thousand in gold. Yes. Thank you. What do you desire? Oh, Q&N news report. Do you want to hear it? Okay. Here it is. A new development has emerged in the kidnapping case of the Crystal Princess. Sources say she has been taken to the realm of the Guardian by one of the evil king, Zeras Henchmen. Mount Crystal's news bureau reporting. That's the news. Have a nice day. What do you desire? Zap Chow resource some of Zap's power. Potion will extend your life power. The figuring will give you an extra life. Super herbs restore all of your life power. Herbs restore some of your life power. Jumping shoes. 3,000. I can still afford it. Sure. Oh, I already have it. Okay, then. Uh, exit. Thanks for coming. Please come again. And now I have the whistle. How do I do, the, how do, I do whistle things? Pause. Oh, wait, set up. And something, didn't it? I already forgot what it said you were supposed to do with that. Oh well. And of course, it's nighttime. We have. Oh, okay, I guess jump over that. And... What are these leaping monkeys? Hmm. I expected the. Oh, okay. I expected the ones that are... Oh, the jump canceling got me. I was expecting the differently colored ones to fall, and as it turns out, they do in fact fall. So... Not bad. Oh. So this part... Sucks. Okay. Oh! Did the same thing again. So the music is pretty neat. Okay, jump over you, get that, get that. Hmm. I want this other one to trigger, so I'm not sure how to deal with it. Unless... Oh, knocked off. Game over. Oh, push start to continue. Oh, look at that. The water level, or the strawberry jam level is rising. Start to continue. <laughs> it's a funny game over screen, though. Guy hanging tight up as the strawberry jam rises. Birds! Birds! Oof. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, so I guess I should also tell the story of the guy that came into my store the other day. He's talking about 
Nintendo games. I was like, yeah. You remember how those games would used to not work? And so you'd blow in them, blow in them, but they still wouldn't work? So you'd have to stick your tongue in the cartridge and lick off both sides of the connectors? And I'm just thinking to myself, no. No, I don't remember that. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, think, yeah, that would explain a lot of some of the games that we've seen come into that store. And you look in at that cartridge connector and you're like, what the hell happened to this game? <laughs> what, what indeed? <laughs> Last time we heard anything even remotely similar to this was the person that wanted to go outside and smoke a cigarette so they could blow cigarette smoke into the cartridge connector because it wasn't working. Kids <laughs> use your mom and let you exchange games for friends, I know, right? Just like imagine if this was actually like a common thing. You go and you rent your game from like Blockbuster or whatever, wherever, and then like a week later you have like strep or something like that. Or herpes or mono or whatever. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Let's be like a NTD? Nintendo Transmitted Disease? I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Oh, right. Cold Source Games Limited. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I'd say if you... Maybe if you really like the taste of isopropyl alcohol, you could lick the games that you get from our store. No tonguing the pins. Yeah. <laughs> in the first place, I was just looking at how much space you even have in there in between, like, the plastic and the edge connector. Just like, what is going on here? Okay. Getting wrecked this time around. Maybe because I'm distracted in my own thoughts now, huh? <laughs> I guess storytelling will do that to you. I also had a picture that I... Oh, and I should I was thinking of mentioning it at the time. So I took photos of the top cover off of an NES that was traded in. But no, that NES that was disgusting on top and traded in, it was not traded in by the um, Lick the Carts guy. It was somebody else. Because the story behind that one, though, is that they had all these old game consoles sitting out in their shed. I don't know how long they have been sitting out there for, but like, the top of it was absolutely filthy with dirt. But yeah, the guy had two NES consoles and three Atari 2600 consoles. Uh oh Okay, so the plant's getting me there. Brave the strawberry jam one more time. Yeah, and actually only one of the Ataris worked. So I was like, okay, well... I'll just give you like four dollars a piece for the other two so I can like take some of the switches off because like the switches on the Atari are pretty unique to the Atari you don't see them on anything else so it's good to get some replacements off of them if needed so I don't have any cans of like WD-40 contact cleaner that probably be the best best thing to um, Best thing to spray inside of the switches before moving them back and forth if I want to get them really cleaned up and good and working properly. Oh, rubber feet on your NES has started to deteriorate and one of them is pretty sticky. Yeah. Yeah, the um, feet on the Wii will get absolutely terrible. Come on. There you go. Gotcha. Basically, it's, it's as if there's a piece of chewing gum stuck to the bottom of the Wii. What's weird though is I don't know what specifically causes it because I'll see some of them that that happens to and some of them that won't. I don't know if it was exposure to heat or what. Like I'm really glad that my Wii, all of the feet, are still intact on it. I'm also not sure where I would get anything to use as a suitable replacement. Right now I have a whole ton of broken Wii's sitting back at the store, so if anybody brings in one that's got that problem, I can just take the feet off of another one. Cost of 3,000, I already have that, okay. Fire scroll, sure. 
Dot whistle up button for something great. Okay. I've been hitting up, but didn't do anything. Up oh, news report? No. Especially if it's the same thing I've already heard before. Zap chow. Okay. Might not have done anything because I'm already full. Oh, extend my life power? Yes, please. Okay, good. And then extra life? No, let's do the super herb. 4,000. Well, sure, I got the money. Lower menu is jumping. Yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know what mapper this game uses. I think the IRQ is probably not completely accurate in the implementation. I know that the CPU, though, is cycle accurate because I went through and checked every single um, upcode and it matches with the table saying what they're supposed to be. So it's probably the IRQ that's not accurate. Okay. Purple monkeys have got me. Took that. Uh oh. I lost some of the bridge. Right, I'm back here again where the monkey's gonna come in. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I'm not sure how to deal with that section because the monkey comes in. Maybe I hop over and then hop back completely off of that section of the bridge? Let's try that. Oof. Also, of note, you cannot make it down to where the Stalfos is. Okay. Ah, oh, and he just eats himself into the pit. That works. Hey! Smashing that attack button. Oh! More of the mystery goo. Twinkly stars. Oh. Nice. Nice monkey. Yeah, real nice. <laughs> I like the song in this. Oh, double monkey. Jump over, jump back. Monkey goes bye-bye. Yeah, because... Oh, uh, thing is just under where I can reach. Uh, that also seems to be perfectly timed to hit you as soon as you get close. Okay. Oh. Hmm. So I jump. Okay. Well, that's enough. That's enough game overs. But I'm guessing on that jump over the pit, but stop, turn around, and then land back on the left side again. So that way the monkey doesn't get you. Who got this time? Oh, bump and jump. <laughs> I think we've been here before. Do a little bit of bumping and a little bit of jumping. Help me! This is a jiggly car. Okay, bump, 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 bump. Okay, and there's our jump. Oh, I see. Yeah, land on top of the... Um, oh, no. Cars can't swim either. <laughs> I'd do like a screenshot. That would be like a meeting. Of the non-swimmers, yeah, it's the non non-swimmers club. I love the bump and jump car, Mike Jones from Star Tropics, and others. Okay. okay. The objective to take out all of your opponents, or. I really like that noise though when you're jumping. It's got like that modulation to it, so I was like, Ooh. Yep. <laughs> Gargling 8 bit noises. Really good. Just seems to be looping though. 
So every time I get to this section, that's set up the same way. With that little odd platform you can jump onto and back. Oh yeah, another Victokai. So we've seen like two Victokai games tonight. And relatively recently too, I saw the uh, Jeremy Parrish video talking about this game. Oh. Do not get bumped. Bump others, but do not be bumped yourself. Dun, 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 dun. Wonder what will happen if we mess up the music on this one. X or... Well, M X or with... Uh, maybe 31. Does the job of creating something rather cursed, doesn't it? I'll come back down again. Oh, and B button is break. Seems reasonable enough. I need to figure out what I renamed the. Mm. Oh, hundred pairs. Front sus okay. Tail lamp okay, gear okay, steering wheel okay, shock absorber okay, high Zara okay, engine good, all repair finished. Whatever that was, that was very bizarre for vehicle repairs. Almost, but not quite. Random game, what do you have for us this time? Apparently, a game that doesn't work. Okay. The Immortal. Well, there he goes. Marching right along there. Oh. Start button or enter certificate. Hmm. A button and B button are both doing the same thing. Oh. It's a face. An image of the old wizard. Hmm. Something Ordemir leaps from the candle and begins to speak. Dunric, you have come to save me. I am in the dungeons far below. I know I can count on you. Hmm. Is this a this is my own NES emulator. <laughs> that um, has my own tweaks programmed into it. This explains your old teacher's mysterious disappearance, but there's one thing strange about the message. Your name is not Dunrick. Hmm. It might be a good idea to move. Alright, in the door. Oh boy, and stuff's happening. It's locked and you don't have the key. Oh yeah, this game? Oh boy. Oop. Don't interfere! Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing! This game has buff Shrek. Yeah. Okay, B button. 
B button to get sorty time going on. Gotcha. <laughs> Relic Onion Smack, okay, yeah. And there's a dead body behind. But you. I see who have come. You must rescue... Wordamir? Maybe? <laughs> this is a terrible font. He is captive many levels below. The entrance to something. Here is a key you will need. I must go now. No, I have to go now. My planet needs me. Set so the key to this chest. Uh oh. Oh no, I stepped in the fire. Prepare to continue. Come on, I'm back here again. <laughs> Very legible text, yeah. Does it remember the fact that I got the key? It's locked, but you. Oh, you have the key? Yeah, yes. You find 20 gold pieces. Okay. You find a bag of bait. Take it. I'll take the bait. You find a sack of bad-smelling spores. Yes. Oh. Set on fire once again. Prepare to continue. Yeah. I'm itching like crazy tonight. Okay, watch out for the fire. Watch out for the other stuff. Hmm. Uh-oh. What happened this time? Hmm. Can I say game over? Did do? Go back to the door. Come on. Okay. Through the door. Oh my. Give up, wizard. Is that what you want to do? Just spam the B button? Oh! Indiana Jones time. Poison darts. This they're so slow moving. You can just dodge them. You got anything down here? Oh, see, the entire entire journey was completely pointless there, huh? You there. Don't advance. Stop. Surrender at once. How about no? I warned you, old man. Music during the fights is pretty good. These animations actually aren't bad either, despite being limited to three colors. You find a note. Danger of attack by shades. They are invisible in dark rooms, but their shadows are visible. Ooh! My torch light. Search? Yeah, I guess so. You find a door key. Take it. Yes. I mean, why wouldn't I? Oh, it's unlocked. Open it. Yes. 50 gold pieces. Nice. And a bottle? Uh-uh. Of course I take it. Discover a scroll with a charm spell. To use on Willow the Wisp. Take it. Sure. So I guess there's more to this room than... Meets the eye. Oh, okay, there was the X. Okay. Oh! Good. Okay. <laughs> so he caught himself by his staff, but he couldn't get up. Where was that door? <laughs> right, traps. I tried pressing. Um, directions. A button. Ah. <laughs> X, 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 and invalid certificate. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a game. <laughs> I guess it's a, um, memorize the game game.